All right, so we're going to be doing a another Lego gun video because I still got quite a few to go through before I finish uh, <sighs> getting everything out and whatnot. But I'd also like to point out that uh, we have a little bit more progress behind the KN44 done as well. I got like two or three more attachments. Well, I technically have four more attachments to do. I have to do the laser sight and the stock, but. I have fast mags and extended mags done, but I think I'm going to redo them because they're not looking the best, essentially. So I'll probably be redoing those. Um, other than that, what we're going to be taking a look at today is the Walter P99 Mark II. Now then, this was originally going to be a Master Edition model, and then I saw another Gun Builders uh, model, and I realized how much more this could be. Uh, so for Andrew, uh, shout out to him because his P99 is looking absolutely incredible. And I'll probably have to make another P99 now uh, based kind of roughly off this one because I, I want it to be better, obviously. So uh, this is just going to be a Mark II model. This is the rendered image of it. This is going to be the thumbnail. As for the actual model itself inside of LBD... Uh, this is it. Sorry about that. Excuse me. So, fairly standard model. Uh, based basically off my older one, uh, except there's just a few bit or a wee bit changes to uh, this one. So, uh, I smoothed out the grips and everything. Uh, so, now we have a curve on this end, a curve on this end, and a curve on this back end. I've got the necessary coloring going on, so the black side panels. And then the black uh, back strap that can be interchanged with other back straps. So if you want more of a hump or less of a hump or straight, you can do that. I have mine just on a fairly standard one. In the front here, we have the finger grooves, as you can see, also curved. The magazine right here, fairly standard magazine. Trigger guard goes up in through uh, this little hole right there. And the trigger can be pulled. Resets via a rubber band. So you can, in fact, cock the slide back, the full amount of studs that it, it needs to be cocked back by essentially you can see down kind of into the internals through here so uh, this part here is the uh, the trigger uh, this part here is what holds on to the grip uh, this is just kind of like a firing pin kind of detail uh, and then this would be a chamber area this is something that i want to change to actually like kind of show a chamber and stuff like that in the front here, you can see the barrel sticking through, and then the guide rod as well. And this was kind of difficult to do, but we also have a like this portion that skins down right here. And I used uh, some cheese wedges just to give it that a, a better, more polished look. In the back here, we have the finger grooves, or the serrations and the slides so that it's easier to cock. And we also have the very iconic curve that you can see as well. And this was also something more difficult to do. In terms of sight picture, fairly standard. Shout out to Christopher Hopman. This is the types of sights that he uses on his uh, pistols. Very, very standard stuff. Then, of course, we can pull the slide stop up so you can see that you can lock the slide open. And when you flick that down, the entire thing's going to slide back forward. And we have ourselves the complete Walter P99. So very, very basic pistol. Um, this one's not particularly modeled after any in any form of game. Like, uh, I know it was in Modern Warfare 3, I believe, is one of them, or 2. It might have been 2, but probably 3, I don't know. Uh, so it's not modeled after any particular one, it's just the Walter P99. So I wanted to show you guys this, and then uh, we'll probably be back with another video later on 
sometime this week. Uh, really want to get the KN44 done. I'm, I'm really close to getting it, all the attachments done to it, so probably do that sometime. Anyhow, I'll talk to you guys later in another YouTube video. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos similar to this one. See you later.